Hey everyone, believe it or not, it's uh, Collections Friday. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a long time. I was trying to figure out what I haven't done already and what I have left. Uh, and I did think of something. I don't think I've shared this yet with you guys. But I I collect fishing stuff and hunting stuff. And one of the hunting stuff I, I items I've collected at auctions are... I like old boxes of ammunition. Especially the ones with the good graphics. And so these are some I collected up. I brought from my collection and uh, I, I got more but uh, this just gives you an idea of uh, some of the collection items I have here so uh, let's go over some of these and and I'll show them so you just get an idea I always like is looking at the old prices of ammunition uh, but uh, and uh, everything from the western old westerns uh, I like the ones I got some older ones here with the graphics the old shotgun shell graphics are great on these. Uh, this is one that uh, I believe it's Peter's. Or no, this is so Federal. Federal cartridge had the ducks on it. Uh, I just liked it. Everything was high power and shot shells. I, I just love. This one actually is almost full. This has still got the paper shotgun shells in it. Uh, Remington, they were using the same graphic for a long time. The green. A lot of times... The different companies would, the shells would be different colors. Uh, of course, Remington, they kind of stuck with green a lot of times, but the the Western would go with the red shells, and some were, the older ones were paper, the newer ones were the green plastic ones for Remington. And, uh, but uh, I keep the shells as well, I just think they're cool. Uh, and of course, like I said, there's a, a Western Super X. And uh, let's see what these guys look like. These are the here's some older ones. These are actually paper, the red paper, wax paper actually. And it just I just loved it. Uh, when I was a kid, I can remember going out hunting uh, in Ohio. They had a lot more pheasants and rabbits, and the guys would take the week off to start hunting season in November. And the cars I remember as a kid looking out the window because I'd act like I was sick and skip school to go with my dad hunting but when he went with his buddies it was just his buddies and i had to stay home and watch but i always they'd always take a break and bring home the the item you know the rabbits or pheasants they got and started cleaning them and uh, i can remember seeing guys walking the railroad tracks ditches fence rows just and you could hear them shooting all day long and i can remember the smell of the shotguns when they you would clean them and stuff it's just something about that smell I, the gun cleaning solution the the gunpowder smell i don't know if any of you guys have experienced that but I, that it just brings back memories to me especially these old these old uh, shells and rifle casings but i collect a lot of, i got a lot of 22 boxes i think they're cool too and they're easy to find all the different these are the remingtons a lot of these guys guys might remember some of these let's see if, I'll, if I can find a price tag, I will. Here's more Remingtons. They got shorts. These are the shorts. See the shorts? Different size. And then uh, Clean Board was a was a time period that Remington came out. This is an old Peters. This is what this is actually full. That's a 22 box of Peters, and it, they got a neat box. Of course, everyone probably shot some Thunderbolts and some Mohawks both from Remington and then here's your uh, federal high power 22 box what it looked like back in the day and the price on this was three dollars and 14 cents for uh, a, a small box of, of 22 shells let's see I, I may have another box here's a uh, the Western Super 22s it had the X on it and now this is one uh, you guys may not have seen in a while I believe this is a Montgomery Wards, and they they used to sell 22, and it was called Clean Fire. And of course, uh, you got one here from uh, Andersons and in, in Toledo for 72 cents for a box of 50 Remington 22 shells. So those are the day. So yeah, so these are the shells. Here's a an old Remington uh, extra long range. Uh, New crimson. Let's see what. I forget the color of these. I got a couple in here. Uh, they were actually paper green. So there you go. Remington was still green back in in those days. So, but 
just cool. Uh, these are the Federal High Power, and these are, uh, I think, uh, 20 gauge slugs. And let's see here, what do we got here? There you go, and that's what they would have looked like. Red paper, and uh, high brass. But just, uh, it, it was a neat time period. Uh, I mean, people still hunt, but I mean, not. it wasn't like it used to be. It used to be almost like a, a holiday. Uh, but gives you some ideas of uh, another collection of mine. Uh, it just collects dust. It's actually kind of nice to get stuff out and look at stuff again and share it with everybody. And it gives me a chance to dust off everything and then, you know, just remember what I got. Uh, but no, uh, believe it or not, some of these, uh, like a box like this that has the good graphics. Uh, I mean, I can remember I used to be able to get these for in a box of other stuff for a couple bucks uh, but if they pick this out and hold it up something like this could go up to 30 bucks maybe more depending on who who wants it, it only takes two people you uh, but anyway that's my collections friday uh i appreciate any comments uh any input any good memories you guys had about hunting and and handling these old shells and and i remember uh dad had a 16 gauge which i got and that's what he used to hunt with and the 16 gauge shells were purple i remember his shells always being purple so the 12 gauge were i think green the 16 gauge were purple and i'm not sure if 20 gauge was a different color or not but i know they had black purple green red were the common ones uh there might have been some yellow or gold ones too so anyway throw in your comments and appreciate everyone watching and uh Hopefully I'll find another maybe small collection I can share with you for another Friday. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.